Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to add social media icon links to your websites using HTML and CSS. Okay, so you can pick many different platforms for this including things like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Okay, so um, the first step in doing or creating these social media icon links is going to be to make use of an icon library. Okay, so I'll leave a link to this right here down below. Once you click on that link, you're going to be taken to the Ion Icons Library webpage. Okay, now there are many different icon libraries out there and they all serve a similar purpose, but this one here I do like because it is open source and contains plenty of high quality icons. So with that being said, your icon library here um, is going to give you access to many different icons down below, including the social media icons. Okay. Now, um, how do we make use of this icon library on our own website? Well, it's going to be done by going to the usage tab right up here. So just clicking on the usage icon or, you know, link, um, we can scroll down and go down to the installation section. Okay, so when it comes to installation, um, you want to simply copy these two script tags right here and then paste them before the closing body tag on your own HTML. So the instructions here might change, especially if you're watching this video in the future, but just follow what it says right here and you should be good to go. Alright, so if we go back inside the HTML for our own web page, we can paste the two script tags right down here and we can now make use of those icons in our own website. Alright, so let's add a social media icon link for my own Twitter account. Alright, so going back in the browser, if we go to the icon uh, search page right here, we can do a search for Twitter. So right down here we have the Twitter logo. If I click on this, as we can see in the bottom right corner, we've got the code we need to use in order to get the Twitter logo to appear on our website. So if we copy this code right down here by clicking on it or selecting it or then press copy, once I've copied this code down here, if we go back inside our own HTML, we can paste it inside the body. If I save this right here, then go back in the browser and go to my own web page and I refresh, we can see that the Twitter icon is displaying right there. Very straightforward. So now, how do we convert this Twitter icon into an actual link that a user can click on? Alright, so to achieve that, if we go back in the HTML, let's wrap this icon code inside an anchor tag or link tag. So right down here, we can make a new link tag. It's going to go to my Twitter. So it's going to be HTTPS uh, forward slash forward slash twitter.com forward slash decode YT. So now if we go inside the anchor tag, I'm going to move my icon code to inside here. And now, of course, it's going to work. If I save this, go back in the browser, refresh, then click on the Twitter icon, we can see I get taken to my Twitter right there. So it's very straightforward, guys. Um, also, a quick heads up, if you want this to open up in a new tab as opposed to, you know, taking over the current tab, um, we can do this quite easily by going back inside the HTML and we can add right up here, target is equal to blank and this is going to make sure that uh, your, um, your link here is going to open in a new tab as opposed to, you know, the same tab. So there we go. Um, anyway, to actually style up these icons, make it look a bit better, we can achieve this by using CSS. All right, so going back inside the HTML, let's add a class to this A, uh, to this a tag. We're going to say class right here, and we're going to say social icon. Okay, so you can call this whatever you like. Um, if we now go inside the CSS right up here, we can target the class of social-icon, and inside here, we can give this a new color. We can say color, and just make this something like triple uh, A, for dark grey. If I save this here, go back in the browser, of course, now it's going to change to that dark grey color. Um, but we also need to add some sort of, you know, feedback when the user hovers over that icon. So if we go back inside here, we can then just copy our class and we can say social icon colon hover. Then we can just say something like color and we can make this um, a much darker gray. Save this back in the browser, refresh. Now, of course, we have this change of color when hovering over the icon. And the last thing to do here is going to be to add a nice transition for our, for our color change. 
Alright, so going back in the HTML, let's add a transition CSS property right up here. And we're going to say color at 0.2 seconds. So basically, it's saying here, when we transition from this light gray to the dark gray, it's going to take 0.2 seconds, giving us a nice smooth transition. If I save this here, go back in the browser, refresh one last time, we now have our hover um, and that nice transition on the logo. Now, what if you want to add multiple icons right up here? That's also quite straightforward. We can simply go back. If I was to do a search now for something like YouTube, I'm going to link my YouTube channel instead. Copy the code once again, go back in the HTML, make a copy of our anchor tag right here, change the icon code to be, of course, the logo dash YouTube, and change this to be my YouTube channel, being youtube.com forward slash decode dash software. Save this here, go back in the browser, refresh, and we have, um, of course, the YouTube icon. So the problem here is that there's a little underline for our icons. So to fix that, if we go back inside here, we can say text dash decoration and make this none. Saving this and going back in the browser, refresh, it is now gone. If you want to add some spacing between your icons here, that's also quite straightforward. We can simply just add some margining. So we can say margin right here on the social icon and we can say so we can say zero for the top and bottom then 10px for the left and right so now if i save this go back we have 10px of padding between our icons and of course you can customize that to whatever you want and that is how to add a uh, custom or how to add your own uh social media icon links to your websites thanks for watching guys if today's video helped you out drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video